Now we have connected a low pass filter between the two cables provided here and we have set the frequency of the signal source as 2 GHz. The power is being read as plus 6.1 dBm. You need to take a frequency versus RF power level plot at an interval of say 100 MHz and plot it on uh, XY graph paper. As you will observe, when we change the frequency response, we, we change the frequency from the signal generator. The power level will change. From 2 GHz, we are now increasing the frequency and you will observe that this is now the pass band characteristic so the power is not changing much the only change is because of the SWR between the pass band as we approach the corner frequency of about 3 gigahertz now this power has fallen down by 3 dB and as we increase the power level further we observe that the power level is continuously falling it is minus 14 dB, minus 18 dB, 20 dB so we have been able to demonstrate that we, we have got a stepped impedance low pass filter connected with a corner frequency of 3 GHz. This we have tried to measure the S12 response of this low pass filter. We can also try and measure the different port responses like S11, S21 and S22 and so on and so forth. We will demonstrate how to connect uh, band pass filter here. We have got a tapped hairpin band pass filter and I am going to quickly demonstrate the use of the setup to measure the S12 response of a tapped hairpin band pass filter. This also has been designed for a center frequency of 3 GHz. We will observe that when we near the frequency of 3 GHz, the power level in the instrument will rise. We are now at 4 GHz, we are changing the frequency and bringing it close to the pass band of 3 GHz. We observe that the power level continuously rises. Now it approaches the pass band and this would be the insertion loss of the filter in the pass band which is about 2 to 3 dB and then it again comes to the stop band of the band pass filter. So we observe that we have got a tapped hairpin band pass filter here. We can also try and measure the S12 response of a low pass filter open stub type and we we'll connect the source at one end of the connector and we will also connect the SMA connector at the other end of the low pass filter and we, will, we, we can plot the frequency versus power level response at intervals of 100 megahertz and view it on a graph paper.